everyone, my name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I've been making in March. So I really hope that you enjoy that. I just wanted to ask if you watch this and you enjoy it, it would be really great if you could like and subscribe and more importantly give me a great big hi and hello in the comments below. I love having a chat with people and it's just lovely to share ideas and what people are making and things like that so that would be really really great. So on with what I've made this month. This is the very first thing that I made this month and I'm not overly happy with it <laughs> but it was just actually a test run for my frugal frocks 2021 entry um, and i made the little lizard kings galena dress so i couldn't decide which fabric to use and i knew that i wanted to use one of the jersey fabrics i knew i wanted to do a knit dress because it would be easier to fit but i had never used a free pattern before and i was a little bit nervous because i thought well, what if it's not very good or the pattern sizing is a bit off or something like that so I thought that I would use my least favorite fabric which was this fabric here it's a fabric that I bought from um, Haberdashery Fabrics and More in Plymouth now it's nothing against the fabric it's just I don't think the color and the style of the fabric particularly suits me so I thought it would be a really good way of using it up and using it as a bit of a test run so this is actually a cotton jersey and the pattern itself has these great big bell sleeves and because this is in a cotton jersey obviously these really stand out and are way more prominent than the um <clears throat> than if you're going to use say like a viscose jersey which is what i actually use for my entry into the um into the competition so i made the size six and that was pretty accurate to my sizing my measurements which i'll put in the description below is um a bust 36 a waist 30 and hips 37. i made one alteration to this before i made this and that was that from looking at the pattern i could see that the waist was fairly high and then i measured the pattern piece on me and against me and I felt like where the skirt this is this is the seam line here where the skirt and the bodice join I felt like it was going to be high and I actually um, increased the length of the bodice at the front and the back by two inches and now this sits perfectly on my waist which now feels really really comfortable so I'm really pleased that I made that adjustment before actually making this and then I knew that making my final version it was going to be correct for me so the reason I made this as a trial run like I said because I wasn't sure whether it would be okay whether the pattern was drafted okay you know it's just a free pattern and all this kind of thing but can I just say I think this pattern is absolutely beautifully drafted I think it's really really great and the instructions in it are absolutely fantastic it's really made me now go and have a look at the patterns that you can buy from this or lizard king and I think that I would definitely use them and buy patterns from them in the future so this is the version that I actually made for my um, entry and I made this out of a viscose jersey that was bought from Material Girl Laura a long long time ago and I'm really really pleased with it. It's going to be a work dress, I don't think it's going to be a dress that I particularly wear um, at home or I suppose I could probably possibly wear it for a night out or something just you know out for a meal with my family or something but it is just really really comfortable but it feels stylish it feels a bit different because of the nice sort of um, drapey sleeves and things the pattern actually comes with some different sleeve variations and it also comes with a different um, bodice pattern where you can actually do a placket down the front and I think that I might actually try that in a different fabric in the future but all in all I'm really really pleased with this I can't recommend the pattern enough and yeah just really really pleased with it I have seen so many versions of this dress used for the um, frugal frocks competition but I've also or challenge it's not a competition sorry challenge but I've also seen so many amazing versions of people's frugal frocks in different patterns and different fabrics and things so do let me know what you made in the comments below because it is yeah just really really great and go and check out the hash the hashtag 
Frugal Frocks 2021. Um, just in case you didn't know, it's a challenge that was set up by Ruan from the So Yorkshire Girl and um, Sam from Frugalissima. So check out that hashtag and you'll see so many different videos from lots and lots of different sewing YouTubers sharing their thoughts, their plans, and some people have shown their final makes as well. So that is my first make from March. So on to the next thing that I made, and I've made a bit of a duplicate from something that my middle daughter made for herself last month, and I'll put a link into the video in case you fancy seeing it. So she decided that she wanted to make a dress, and she made the Jennifer Lauren Sorrel dress, which is this one here. And like I say, I'll put a picture of it, of the dress she actually made in here. But my youngest daughter, once she had seen it, said, oh, I quite fancy one of those dresses. Um, she didn't really have time to make it herself because they've all gone back to school, so life's got quite busy for them. But she asked if I would make her one. So she had a really good search through all of my fabric. And once she had, she found this gorgeous shirting fabric that I bought for my husband but I just never got around to making him that shirt. So unfortunately he's now dipped out. <laughs> so I've made her the dress and I'll pop some pictures in of her wearing it. And it's in this absolutely really cute bicycle fabric. It's obviously very, very lightweight. Like I say, it's a shirt in cotton. So she's gonna have to be careful what she wears underneath it, or she may even have to wear a little slip underneath it or something like that. We finished it off with these sort of copper colored um, snaps. So they're just snaps, they're not actually buttons, which just makes it nice and easy and a really, really easy sew. I have to say the dress pattern is really well constructed. There's no fiddly easing in. It's really, really easy to put together and the instructions are absolutely fantastic. So I can really recommend this as a beginner's pattern. Like I say, my daughter actually made this herself last month. It has pockets in the side, which I seem to remember my other daughter didn't want pockets so she doesn't have them, but Ellen's got some in hers. I don't think we adjusted the length. I think we kept it the same. So it's just been hemmed off um, as the pattern was actually drafted. So the size that I made in this is the same size as that Amy had made. And that was a size eight at the top down to around about the bust and then um, graded down to a size six for the waist and the hips. So yeah, just really, really happy with that. And she absolutely loves it. So hopefully you'll have seen the pictures and the little video that I've put in of her wearing that. So that was my second make. The next thing that I made was yet again another duplicate, but this time totally the reversal. So I made my daughter, my youngest daughter, the Quixo K4138, and I made her this version here in a rainbow fabric. And again, I'll pop a quick picture in of that version that I made her. But once I'd made it, my middle daughter decided that she really wanted a version herself. So I made her this version here which again I'll put pictures of her in wearing it so it's a little sort of um, bib style dress with a very full circle skirt very flary circle skirt and it has great big deep pockets which I can't actually find they are in here somewhere <laughs> oh there they are <laughs> it's just the fabric is so or the skirt is so full it's really difficult to see it the fabric colour, I don't think it's coming up very well on the screen, but it's this really lovely sort of sagey green colour. And it looks like it has these tiny little bees in it, but in actual fact, it's just four dots, a white dot, a yellow dot, and two grey dots. And it just from a distance looks like these tiny, tiny bees. So it has this nice big pocket at the front as well. Now I bought this fabric with Amy, when we weren't in lockdown a long time ago, we bought it in a shop in Totnes. Now, I can't remember the name of the shop off the top of my head, but I've got it written down and I'll pop it across the bottom of this screen and I'll also put the link into um, the shop down below. They really are a shop that deal with um, needle craft as in embroidery and they have painting supplies and all that sort of thing. So they only had a very, very small selection of fabric and it was mainly quilting cottons, but they were absolutely lovely. And it's just, yeah, just made this really lovely, very different sort of style dress for her. And she absolutely loves it. So yeah, I don't know whether they'll end up wearing it together. I think they might. 
I think they might look a bit strange if they end up wearing it together but really really pleased with that one and she's just super happy with it um, and just to say I made the size small and the only alteration I made was although everything else on it is a size small I had to draw the waist in ever so slightly just to make it a bit smaller than the pattern piece I think going to the extra small would have been a bit too tight so it's somewhere in between the two but it was very easy to do I just basically gathered it slightly more than it should have been and shortened the waistband ever so slightly so that was my third make well I suppose fourth make because I'd made two of these Galena dresses hadn't I <laughs> I'll just go and grab the next couple Okay, so the next thing I want to share with you is something that I made as my sew along this month and I'm not sure if you would have seen it, but it was the Cali shirt sew along and this is a pattern by Closet Core Pattern Company. So I am super, super pleased with how these have come out and I'll pop a link into the sew alongs. I think I did put a picture on my Instagram as well, so you may have seen this already, but I made two versions of the shirt in the end. So, as I say, my measurements are bust 36, waist 30, hips 37, and my size really fell into the size 10. Now, I went down one size, and that still gave me 10 inches of ease around my bust. So, as you can see, it's a very, very oversized, relaxed style um, shirt, or it also comes as a tunic and a, and a dress as well. So I've made two shirt versions and I altered the pattern ever so slightly because the pattern is meant to be, obviously this is sat on the hanger so it does actually look like the back is longer than the front, but this is meant to have a high low hem, so a very high front and about three inch difference to the back. And I adjusted mine so that they were the same length and that actually the um, front section was about four inches lower than it was originally designed because otherwise the front of the shirt actually landed just above my tummy and I felt really uncomfortable with that sort of style I just didn't think I would ever take it out and wear it if I if I had that so I made my first version as my trial run before doing the sew along with you guys and I made it out of this really beautiful soft it is a cotton, it looks a bit like a chambray, but it's not, it's thinner than that. And it's this beautifully soft cotton that I bought from Like So Amazing. And it is just really lovely. It's got these tiny little Scotty dogs on it with little red bows, which might or might not come up on the screen there. I made this version with a granddad style collar. So just really um, nice and relaxed. I put a little handmade um, label in it, which I quite liked. And I did the version with the inverted pleats on the back. It is such a nice pattern to do. I would say it is for a confident beginner slash um, maybe slightly more than that. I definitely wouldn't say it's for a beginner, but actually the pattern instructions are really, really great. There's a lot of hand holding on it and there are different blog posts and things that you can follow. And I mean, obviously, of course, there's my sew along as well. <laughs> but there, yeah, it's a really, really lovely pattern. And I think if it if it was your first step into shirt making, then this would be a really great one to do. So for my actual sew along, I made this version and I bought this fabric from Guthrie Garney. Now, I cannot tell you what kind of fabric this is. All I can say is it is very, very thick and um, much heavier weight than a cotton. I really love the finish on it. I decided to do um, alternate directions for the um, button placket and the path, uh, the uh, pocket and also on the sleeve hems and I'm just so pleased with how it came out I did exactly the same thing with the hem I did the alteration exactly the same as I had on my other version I just used these wooden buttons which I feel like they tie in very well with it um, I also altered the direction of the pattern on the yoke and I did the inverted pleat. So all in all, just really, really super happy with these versions. Um, oh, and I put another little label in it that says, you've got this. <laughs> so yeah, really, really pleased with those. And um, I definitely will be making them again. But the next time I really fancy making one in a viscose because I think that would give it yet another look again. So the next thing that I made was yet another shirt. <laughs> so I seem to have made a lot of shirt type things this month, but the two Cali shirts, the shirt that I'm about to show you and the shirt dress that I made for Ellen. Yeah, so I don't, there was obviously a bit of a theme going on there. So 
So I said in my plans video that I was going to make the McCall's M6044 for my husband. Now I've made him this shirt before quite a few times and it is just such a lovely fitting shirt. I really, really like it. And every single time I make it, I feel like I improve the way in which I sew it. And I know that sounds like a really strange thing to say, but it just proves that sometimes repeating something actually you learn more and more the more you do it and I'm so pleased with the finish on this garment. I got this fabric from John Lewis um, quite a long time ago, I think it was in the Cambridge um, in the Cambridge store and it is just this um, lovely, um, well I think it's just a shirt in cotton, I'll try and bring it up close to show you. So it's like this lovely sort of almost denim -y blue and it's got a really tiny little polka dot in it that might be a bit blurry on the screen but hopefully you can see that i did the long sleeve version and it has these really um, lovely deep cuffs on it and it has the split in the sleeve so that it's comfortable um he decided he didn't want the yoke on it so i it made it even more simple so it was just the plain back style version and he absolutely didn't want pockets on it so it really is a very very plain version of this shirt i didn't have any buttons and obviously being in lockdown <clears throat> meant that it was very hard to try and find anything so i actually found a shirt that i had made him previously which he really doesn't like because the fabric creases so monumentally that the second he puts it on it just looks like he's kind of screwed it up and then tried to put it on so I just cut the buttons off and just use those and I was a bit worried because they're white and I thought oh is that going to look a bit strange against the blue but in actual fact I think it looks really smart I wanted to do something really different with this shirt and I wanted to do say you know maybe something different on the under collar or on the collar stand here or on the inside of the cuffs but in the end he was so adamant that he wanted it just really plain and a really nice work shirt that I just made it in this fabric and in the most simplest style that I possibly could and he didn't try it on for a while because just time ran out and we didn't have a moment for him to try it on and then one morning I came down to breakfast and he had it on he would just sort of taken it off the door behind my sewing machine and and had popped it on and he said he's really really pleased with it so it's ever so comfortable the fabric is really really nice and breathable but nice and light and he's really pleased with the fit so all in all it's been a really successful make and I'm so pleased with it and I just can't wait to make him more I have actually got a shirt a short sleeve version of this in the making which I made half of it last year or even the year before and I started um, videoing a sew along for it and I must finish it to show you but obviously it's the short sleeve version it's not the version with the cuff so I don't know if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing but I will try and get that finished and um, and show you but yeah very successful make really really pleased with it and um, and so is he so before I show you the last couple of things that I've made this month I'm actually now going to pass you over very quickly to my daughter, Amy, who has knitted a garment this month and is really super pleased with it. So I'm going to pass you over to her and she can tell you all about it. Hello. So mum's asked me to talk about what I made this month. So all I made was this. Um, it's the Susan Crawford Tri Cable Stitch Jumper. <clears throat> um, it's from her vintage knitting collection. Um, and I really liked it. I think I was drawn to the well, the vintage aspect of it, um, and yeah, it's really cute. Um, it's got a little bow that you can tie up. Um, yeah, I'll give it a little spin. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see. Um, but yeah, I got the wool from the website, um, her website that it recommends in the colour ruby red, and. Yeah, I don't actually know where the buttons are from. I found them in my little sewing box, but I mean, I think they work quite well, so yeah. So on to the last two things, and it's yet another doubler. Not only have I made lots of shirts this month, I seem to have made two of everything, which I don't quite know how that's happened, but anyway. So my daughter asked me if I would make her a 
bodycon type style of dress and I knew exactly which was the perfect pattern to use as soon as she said it and that was the Deer and Doe Givre pattern. So we were having a little look through some fabric and I had a little shopping spree and I bought some fabric from Make Up 140 and she chose this incredibly, well you can't help but smile when you see it, this beautiful bright and rainbow fabric it is just so gorgeous i absolutely love it and i just made her the um totally plain version so that there wasn't a cut you know you can have it so that you can have a different style sort of yoke at the top um but i actually chose to do it so that it was just totally plain and obviously the short sleeves and she is so delighted with it she wore it the other day and i'll pop some pictures of her in wearing it it just looks so cool it looks really nice she had it on with a denim jacket and it just looked absolutely lovely there isn't really anything to say about this i made the size 36 which is a bust 33 waist 25 and a quarter and hip 35 and a half that seemed to fit her really, really nicely. It has got a lot of negative ease in this. Um, that's how the pattern's been designed. It's got, with Deer and Doe, I really feel like the shapes are incredibly feminine and very, very flattering, as you can see. Sort of really comes in at the waist and out at the hips. And it just really suits her. It's a dress that's just so easy to wear. You can just pop it on. Um, she could have this on with tights. She could put it on with a big thick cardi. Like I say, she put it on with her denim jacket. I think she had little white pumps on when she wore it the other day. Yeah, just absolutely love it. And I have to say, I'm a little bit jealous. I kind of wish that I had made it for myself, but she chose it first, so I couldn't. <laughs> So yeah, just a really, really lovely dress and really simple. And I finished all of the hems with my cover stitch machine, which I was really pleased with. I just used a red thread. So yeah, really, really pleased with that dress. And then I made another dress. Oh, I can't remember. Did I say that fabric was from Make It 140 in Plymouth? I'll put the website below as well. I then made this, this version, but this is just the t-shirt version, so not a dress. And I haven't got any pictures of my daughter wearing this yet. So by the time I videoed this, I might have had a chance to take some pictures. But she wanted a t-shirt in this maths fabric. <laughs> so it's, it is a black background with just little um, simple addition um, uh, maths combinations on there. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And then it's got these little bright stars sort of in orange and pink and green and yellow and what have you all sort of dotted in between. Now she is absolutely maths mad. She's doing A-level maths, A-level further maths and, and French and then she wants to go on to do maths at university and she saw this fabric which was from Minerva and um, she just sort of went mad for it and said oh yeah I'll, I'll have that. When it came I said that I would make it as a dress for her but she wasn't quite brave enough for that. Whether she'll actually be brave enough to wear this to school or not is a is another matter because it might make her a bit of a, a maths freak if she does that. <laughs> so anyway, just thought it was quite funny and it's quite cute. I did actually shorten the length of this from the standard length of the t-shirt because she's young and I think that longer style t-shirt isn't quite what she had in mind. So I've cut it up quite short and um, she's really, really pleased with that. Again, just did the little um, t-shirt sleeves and she's really pleased. Finished everything again on my cover stitch machine, but this time in the black fabric, uh, black uh, cotton. And yeah, made the same size as I did for Ellen, which was the size 36. And it, I, I'm hoping it fits her really well, because like I say, I haven't actually got any photos of her wearing it yet so yeah really really pleased with that so that's everything that myself and Amy have made this month it feels like it's been a mammoth month at first when I started sort of putting my bits and pieces together I thought oh, I don't think I've made very much but it just seems to have actually worked really well I've got a really really busy month coming up this month for work so I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to be able to get sewn up in this month 
but I'm going to be sharing with you my one week Me Made April next week and I'll also be sharing my um, Hollyburn skirt sew along the week after that so I hope that that's something that you enjoy. Like I said at the start it'd be really great if you could subscribe, give me a thumbs up and a little hello in the comments, it's always nice to have a bit of a chat. I'll also put a link below to my Instagram account if you want to follow me over there but other than that I hope everybody's having a really good week. I will speak to you all again soon. You take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.